Hey guys, it's Brian Kochi, and I wanted to give you a real quick tutorial on OBS Studio, how I use it to um, overlay my video here with my photo editing or anything I'm doing on the computer here. Um, obviously, you can do it with video games and that sort of thing, but I use it for photo editing. So, real quick, I want to show you how I set that up. Um, I'm going to switch over here. So now you can see lots of screens going all the way in. Don't pay attention to that. Pay attention down here to the bottom here where it says sources. Um, and I guess you can see it all the way through, but that's fine. Sources. So these are the things that are gonna be able to overlay on top of the video. Just like in Photoshop, the things on top will overlay over, um, over the things on bottom. So start at the bottom, I have my Blue Yeti. You can see this is my microphone here. Um, I can turn down the volume, I can turn up the volume. Uh, I ha you can also see I have my desktop audio and my mic um, from my webcam. I have those muted. If I'm watching a video, I'll mute my microphone and I'll play the desktop audio so that way you get really clean audio. But for this, <clears throat> I just use my desktop audio or my Blue Yeti. Um, I think, I don't know what this is. So how to add sources. Go to the plus. Um, for my webcam, I use the... Uh, video capture device. You can see I have it here. If I wanted to create a new one, I would just hit OK and then find it. It's very easy. Once it's set up, it's very easy to do. Um, <clears throat> you can see I have two different screens here. This is my screen on my right. <clears throat> this is my main screen that I use for my editing. Um, sometimes I want to switch back and forth. So to add that, you just go to display capture and choose which screen you want. I obviously already had them here in my sources, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, Blue Yeti, in order to bring in audio, audio input capture. Again, here's my Blue Yeti, I already have it set up, so we're good to go. If you want to stream to Facebook, it's really easy, you can do it on your business page. I'm gonna show you how to do it on a personal page. This personal page works the same way as if you're doing it on a uh, Facebook group too. You go to live video um, and hit connect. It will give you your stream key. Um, you put that stream key Let's go back here into your settings, stream, make sure you choose Facebook Live, put the stream key in there, and you're set. Then you hit start streaming, and in about 30 seconds or so, you'll see your information pop up here. So that is how you use um, OBS Studio to do a Facebook Live, or you can do picture in picture. Cool, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, please like, subscribe, share, anything like that. I'd really appreciate it if you found value or if you want a video on something else, let me know. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.